welcome back to The Business Caselet, where we take a look at little bits of business to try to leave our sessions a little more understanding about the business that surrounds us. Today, we're going to be talking about The Bachelor. I'm going to introduce you to a quick 30 second framework, and then we'll dive into the good stuff, the numbers. You'll walk away with concrete percentages of how much receiving the first impression rose ups your chances of winning The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. And seriously, you're going to be surprised. Before we dive in, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe below and let's do it. Okay, first our 30 second framework, you can time me. If you haven't read Blink by Malcolm Gladwell, you're about to get a crash course. The overall takeaway from the book is that people make snap judgments, instant unconscious micro judgments that have lasting effects. These snap judgments or impressions made in the blink of an eye are powerful metrics that we as humans anchor around. Each subsequent interaction is thus spent either proving or disproving that initial blinked judgment. Now, of course, there are layers to the analysis and the book is definitely worth a read, but today we're going to measure this very foundational takeaway against The Bachelor and The Bachelorette's first impression rose and whether in this frame, Mr. Gladwell knew what he was talking about. The first impression rose for non-Bachelor Nation viewers is a rose given to the one contestant that The Bachelor or The Bachelorette feels most drawn to on the first night of the competition. It is the ultimate snap judgment and quite literally says, hey, I'm interested in marrying you. Now to date, there have been 34 completed seasons of The Bachelor or The Bachelorette that have included a first impression rose. I've taken this data, compiled it into a spreadsheet, and run some analysis. Here's what I found. There have been eight seasons of The Bachelorette where the first impression rose recipient has also been the winner of the show. On the other hand, there have been seven seasons where the first impression rose recipient has not won the show. So eight out of 15 contestants that have been given the first impression rose have also won the show. Now, normally the probability of the winner being chosen at random is only 4% or one out of 25 for the 25 contestants that enter the house. But what these results are telling us is that the contestant who wins the first impression rose actually has an approximate 53% chance of walking away with a ring. Of course, we have a small sample size and this has got to be taken with a grain of salt, but let's check back in on season 100 and see how we're doing. Okay, cool. Now that we have our data, let's run it through our Blink analysis. One main takeaway is that Blink impressions are working pretty strongly here. But if we take this analysis one step further and look at how many couples are still together, we can see that two out of three couples were first impression matches. We have Jojo and Jordan and Rachel and Brian. However, our third match is not so far off. Desiree from season nine had ultimately picked Chris who she's still together with. However, her runner up was her first impression Rose Drew. Now it seems like Chris had some big first impression shoes to fill, but judging by the longevity of their relationship, it seems like it's working out. Basically against our blank framework, it comes at no surprise that these are the results that we're finding. Now, what explains the other 50%? Gladwell calls this the Warren Harding error, named after the 29th president, Warren Harding, who had a very poor presidential reputation. Essentially, Gladwell says that Harding was blinked into approval by his appearance that unconscious judgments of his physical appearance stamped his approval despite otherwise obvious factors for disapproval. Perhaps this is what's happened here, or perhaps it's other triggers of the heart versus the mind. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now let's talk about the men. To be honest, the men are quite a different case, not because of their widely different takeaways, but actually because of their much stronger support. In 19 seasons, there has been one season and one season alone where a bachelor has ended up with his first impression rose. That bachelor is Sean Lowe. And oddly enough, Sean and Catherine are the only couple that's still together today. Now, Peter Weber also technically chose his first impression rose, but at no disrespect to Peter or to Hannah Ann, we're not actually gonna count them in this analysis because he also chose like four others. Okay, what's our takeaway here? Getting the first impression rose from a bachelor will only get you 5% closer to that proposal. But remember, choosing a contestant at random will also get you a 4% chance of winning. So basically, no need to worry if you don't get the first impression rose on your bachelor season because, well, based on this data, it simply doesn't matter. But wait a minute, what's interesting is that when you take a look one level down at the runner-ups, you have four bachelors who have brought their first impression rose to the finale only to contradict their first impression and propose to another woman or walk away, which makes you wonder if they'd still be together if they chose their first impression rose. But in any case, six out of those 38 finalists were first impression rose winners. It's still nowhere near the bachelorette's numbers, but at least it ups your ante to about a 16% chance of reaching the final two. In conclusion, this has been a very long-winded way of saying first impressions matter. We can draw other relationship-specific takeaways like the bachelorettes have historically been better at pinpointing the love at first sight relationships, or that the bachelors will often hold on to their first instincts to the very end, but steer away instead of doubling down in the final countdown. In any case, I hope you've enjoyed this little deep dive into blink analysis and snap judgment theory with the lens on the bachelorette. 
Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe below. And of course, let me know if there's any topics you'd like to dive deeper into. Until next time.